What's up boys and girls? Another beautiful day to be working at the sea do Not really, I'm being sarcastic. Um, if you're subscribed, that's great. If you're not, my last video we um, talked about the no start issue. So we put a new battery in, we put a new solenoid in. Machine now starts. Me and the wife got out on the lake for 20 25 minutes the other day and the 12 volt low light started flashing in the dash of the gtx so at this point the stuff i've replaced and the information i've achieved i've got no rotten wires in this part of the ski i've got a new battery so i know the issue's not there so where this is a gtx you jump back here by your throttle body and here is your main connection for your stator what you want to do to test this is you want to unplug it when you get it unplugged you want to test obviously the stator side so your three yellow wires you want to take your multimeter and you want to set it to ohms okay guys first test let's take your black and ground it make sure it's grounded then you take your red and you're going to probe each one of them wires individually on the yellow and that's going to tell you if your stator's any good or not that's the first step so if you have any resistance at all your multimeter should if you have resistance your multimeter is going to move but what you should see through this whole test is this zero l the next part of the test is you actually want to get both your wire multimeter ends so black and red and you want to probe every possible combination here so there's going to be three obviously you don't have to do it backwards uh, the multimeter figures that part out for you so you're going to have these two wires these two wires and those two wires are your three tests what you want to see is a minimal of 0 0.1 ohm and a maximum of 1.1 .1. If you are outside of those specs, your stator is fried. So I'm just trying to show you the uh, actual information right off c do here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Take my word for it, guys. 0 0.1 to 1.1 1 .1 ohms is your specs for the stator test doing the probe test so what I figured out on my ski is is my stator amazingly I don't have very good luck my stator um, is all within spec so I start my ski up I run it my battery will go down to 11.78 volts that's where it seems to be staying it won't go any higher than that if i charge it up on my charger i get it up to 12.5 as soon as i start the ski and start running it watch the voltage on the multimeter you can literally watch it drop so only one other thing it can be my key is good so down here in the front, in the front part of your air box on top of the fuel tank, you're going to find a voltage regulator with two 8mm coarse thread bolts into it. And it uh, wasn't exactly rocket science for me, but the moment I got this out of the machine, look at this guys it is teetotally shot this wire here is not even connected whatsoever this last yellow one 
she's broken right off so they say this is a pretty common thing i'm actually very glad that this is what's wrong in my case because this is an easy thing to change the only way you're changing the stator in these sea is to pull them out so luckily things for me could have been worse it still sucks but at least it's going to be a fairly easy fix once i get the part so my suggestion if you own one of these model skis is you know if you're having any any troubles at all with your charging system you uh should probably unbolt this and have a look at it and see what um kind of condition it's in so that being said the new rxp if you've been watching man this thing's a beast works great 63 hours so far no troubles uh this here the gtx man i've been bragging this up to people how good it's been treating me and you know this here is probably going to make four if not five hundred dollars in parts in the last couple days so i mean uh if you don't have a new ski these older ones sometimes can be a, a bit of a pain in the arse but it's what i got so i gotta deal with it and you know sometimes you get lucky and it's not that big of a deal so appreciate it guys thanks for watching it's my two cents worth your proper way to do a stator test without taking the stator out of the ski so if you find you're having charging problems and this piece is in good shape and working properly if you do the stator test you're going to find your culprit there trust me so anyway got to keep stuff up and running thanks for watching please subscribe just for those of you that like to be a little craftier than others uh this part for me is a few days away so i just sat down in the building for about a half hour and you can pry this rubber piece off and i had two wires completely broken off as you can see i've got them reconnected there i'm going to blow this full of silicone and she's going to be good to go for a few more trips so i mean either way if you got broken wires clearly you ain't got connections so anyway that's what i did you don't gotta like it you don't gotta do it it's just free just another two cents worth guys even if you buy one of these brand new if you're a saltwater rider uh, the end of them's not sealed real good so for a couple cents of silicone i decided to gob mine up with silicone to help keep the what little bit of water might get added out of it and hopefully prevent this from happening to me again but uh, i think we're going to be all right here i might put another layer onto it So guys, we had 11.8 uh, volts before, 